Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Gamma Dai Gamma. So, uh, in in the past couple of videos, I um, made a video proving some of the important formulae of uh, the Dai logarithm. And uh, you know, I left out one inversion formula because that video was already getting long. So, before watching this video, please watch that video because this video is sort of a continuation to that. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the identity that we are going to prove is the die logarithm of negative z plus the Dai logarithm of negative 1 over z is nothing but minus half of natural log squared of z minus pi squared over 6 okay and before actually proceeding with, uh, with the proof of this I'm going to actually express the Dai logarithm in terms of its integral representation so it turns out the Dai logarithm of some uh, argument z is nothing but minus integral from 0 to z of natural log of 1 minus t over t dt and the proof of this thing is surprisingly simple what you do is you ex express the natural log in terms of its Taylor series going from k equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k negative t to the k over t dt and now interchanging the sum and the integral because of uniform and absolute convergence we have sum from k equals 1 to infinity this cancels with 1 of minus 1 to the k and this minus and this minus will just cancel out integral from 0 to z we have a 1 over k like that t to the k minus 1 dt now it's simple integration t to the k over k times k which is k squared evaluated from 0 to z so at z you have sum from k equals 1 to infinity z to the k over k squared and at 0 everything is 0 and this just turns out to be the sum the, the, the primary definition of the Dai logarithm of z okay so we are actually going to use this integral representation extensively so uh, see you on a fresh page okay so on the fresh page I have written the inversion formula that we need to prove so I'm gonna start proving this from the left hand side we have die logarithm of negative z plus the die logarithm of negative 1 over z so I'm gonna use the integral representation on both of them so we have negative integral from 0 to whatever was the argument which is negative z in this case natural log of 1 minus t over t dt minus integral from 0 to negative 1 over z that's the argument now natural log of 1 minus t over t dt and now what I want to do seriously is uh, have positive upper bounds in both the integrals so I can say let w equal to uh, negative t and y equal to negative t so uh, we have negative integral from 0 to z because of up in the new variable change natural log of 1 plus w divided by negative w and a negative dw because uh, dt will be negative dw minus integral from 0 to 1 over z natural log of 1 plus y uh, divided you know what let's let's call it w let's have a uniform variables for now negative w and a negative dw like that 
so this negative this cancels out just like this cancels out with this so we have negative integral from 0 to z natural log of 1 plus w over w dw minus uh, integral from 1 to z natural log of 1 plus w over w dw and now what I'm gonna do is actually use substitution on this second integral because this is quite similar to the original uh, integral representation because the argument is z the argument is 1 over z so let's make that into a z and the way to do that is introduce the substitution let y equal 1 over w so our dw is negative dy over y squared so write the first integral as it is we'll uh, deal with that a, a little later we have uh, 1 over infi 1 over 0 is actually infinity and 1 over 1 over z is will be z we have natural log of w is 1 over y so 1 plus 1 over y divided by w is 1 over y uh, with a negative dy over y squared fair enough now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this negative to correct the order of this because z is positive z has to be positive because we natural log of z natural log can only have a positive argument so write the first integral as it is we have a negative we use this negative to correct the order we can express this as natural log of y plus 1 divided by y and 1y cancels out over y dy now I'm going to use properties of logs and write the second integral as a difference of uh, two integrals so integral from z to infinity of natural log of 1 plus y over y dy minus minus plus integral from z to uh, infinity of natural log of y over y dy and the thing is for definite integral it doesn't matter what variable we have we can write the w as a y as long as the upper and lower bound and the structure of the integrand is same so we basically have minus integral from 0 to z natural log of 1 plus y over y dy added with because we factorized out the negative natural log of 1 plus y over y dy added with this guy integral from z to infinity natural log of y over y dy and now using the linearity integral from 0 to z plus integral from z to infinity of the same function is integral from 0 to infinity it's like consider this patch 0 to z and this patch z to infinity you're adding both of these so you have 0 to infinity natural log of 1 plus y over y dy and the thing is the derivative of the natural log is present 1 over y is present in the numerator so we can if you want you can do a u substitution but I'm just calculating the antiderivative directly half natural log squared of y this is because of the power rule you'll have a u du if you make substitutions evaluated from z to infinity so I'm gonna call this guy as a I'm gonna call this guy as i naught you know along with the negative over here so uh, we have i naught plus now if you substitute infinity it's like an indeterminate form because it's it's basically diverging to infinity a limit as uh, y goes to infinity of half natural log squared y minus half natural log squared g now one interesting thing is 
half natural log squared z was there in the original formula so you know we have this term now for the other term and also to get rid of this divergence in the natural log here we have to look at i naught so let's do that on a fresh page okay so this is the integral i naught and notice we have an infinity like 0 to infinity and infinity is really not a good place to uh, joyride with your natural log function while integrating so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this interval from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus y over y dy added with but we have a negative outside so we be subtracted again minus and minus from 1 to infinity the, the remaining interval natural log of 1 plus y over y dy uh, well I'll suggest keep this first guy as it is for a little while but it's this second guy that we are actually concerned with because we actually want to perform a u substitution so let u equal 1 over y because doing that we'll have a 1 here and a 0 here natural log of 1 plus 1 over u y is 1 over u and uh, dy is negative du over u squared du over u squared like that fair enough okay so I'm going to use this first negative to correct the order of integration so we have minus integral from 0 to 1 natural log of u plus 1 over u and then uh, one of them cancels out u du and well it doesn't matter what variable name we have as long as it's a definite integral I'm changing the u to y again and now again using the properties of these uh, natural logs or logs in general you can split this up as natural log of 1 plus y over y dy minus minus plus integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of y over y dy so we have minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus y over y dy plus integral from 0 to 1 natural log of y over y dy so we can actually legitimately uh, use the Taylor series for the natural log by now I think you're quite fluent with the Taylor series so y to the k divided by y dy and then this just like our uh, original case well you can use, use substitution if you want but I'm just writing it directly half natural log squared y evaluated from 0 to 1 fair enough okay and look what we have here we have minus 2 we can take the sum outside and k equals 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k integral from 0 to 1 y to the k minus 1 dy and when you plug in 1 natural log of 1 is 0 natural log of natural log squared of 1 will also be 0 so we have 0 here but we still have the subtracting case minus half limit as y goes to 0 of natural log squared of y now performing integration on this part is minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k times k which is k squared and y to the k evaluated from 0 to 1 minus half limit as y goes to 0 natural log squared of y well at 0 we'll have a 0 at 1 we'll have a 1 so this is minus 2 sum from k equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k squared minus half limit as y goes to 0 of natural log squared of y 
Now this is actually the Dirichlet eta of 2 and the Dirichlet eta of 2 is actually half of the Riemann zeta of 2 and the Riemann zeta of 2 is actually the Basel problem sum from k equals 1 to infinity 1 over k squared which has a value of pi squared over 6 and please don't tell me I, I haven't made a video on this I have an entire playlist dedicated to this essentially 6 ways of showing that this uh, Riemann zeta of 2 is pi squared over 6 so if minus 2 with a pi squared over 12 because it's half of this minus half limit as y goes to infinity of natural log squared of y this will be minus pi squared over 6 minus half limit as y goes to 0 of natural log squared of y okay now this is i naught time to plug this in our original left hand side okay so this is our uh, general left hand side that we were dealing with i naught just turned out to be minus pi squared over 6 minus half limit as y goes to 0 of natural log squared y plus half of the limit y goes to infinity natural log squared of y minus half natural log squared of z now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick uh, uh, substitution for this limit this list limit so let uh, y equal uh, 1 over r when I do that we have negative pi squared over 6 minus half limit as well as y tended to 0 1 over r or rather r will go to infinity just the reciprocal relation and we have natural log of 1 over r times natural log of 1 over r I can write natural log squared y like this plus half limit as y goes to infinity uh, natural log squared y minus half natural log squared of z now uh, we can use a certain property of limits we can write this as minus natural log of r even the second term is minus natural log of r plus half limit as y tends to infinity natural log squared y minus half natural log squared z now well both the negatives cancel off with minus pi squared over 6 minus half limit as r goes to infinity of natural log squared r and as it is for definite integrals the same thing applies for limits too it doesn't matter what uh, variable you have so i'm just changing this y to an r natural log squared r minus half natural log squared of z so the great thing is the divergences go off so bye bye divergences we just have minus half natural log squared z minus pi squared over 6 and that is our left hand side it is equal to die logarithm of negative z plus die logarithm of the reciprocal inverse of uh, negative z which is negative 1 over z which has a value of minus uh, half natural log squared z minus pi squared over 6 isn't that a really nice result and believe me this is going to be really really useful this inversion formula is going to be really really useful in the coming videos so please uh, don't come to me later saying I didn't prove this so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it so please like share and subscribe to my channel guys recommend me to your friends spread my word in the math community and believe me a Q&A video celebrating 100 subscribers is coming up soon so stay tuned for that in the meantime stay home stay safe keep doing math peace out I'm signing off